Water, water everywhere. And all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere. And not a drop to drink. Do you remember that poem of somebody out in the ocean, caught in the doldrums, where there's no wind blowing, and they got water everywhere around them, but they cannot drink it, they cannot make use of it. Well, it's the same in modern society. All around us, EMF, EMF, frequencies everywhere, ions floating everywhere, and yet you go online to find out something that produces negative ions, and they're trying to sell you an ion generator. Well, why generate ions when you're awash in them? They're everywhere. How about just splitting them? And what I mean by that is, believe it or not, this little coil splits ions out of EMF. This here is, let me introduce you some, to some coil designs. Some of my, uh, some people that I know in the, uh, that are doing the Organite have been working with coils. This is one of the most popular and beautiful coils that they make. But it's not very productive, but very, very beautiful that they're putting into their, their contraptions. I found out for production of ions that you need to have a quarter inch spacing on the uh, on the lines as they go around. This is a one foot worth of material, two foot and three foot worth of material. Now the interesting thing is the larger you go, the more material you put into these. And notice these are twisted at the at one end and they go around and, and get bigger. One foot, two foot, three foot. The more material you put into these, they will actually start splitting ions on their own without assistance. This one here, and, and larger, you can actually hang this behind a picture. You can put this behind a bookshelf. You can put this where it will never be noticed. You can put it behind a mirror. And it will actually uh, split ions out of the EMF that's in the air. The secret to it is, though, that you want to be facing the coils that spin off in a clockwise position, just think of, see how it comes off clockwise, just think of this, if it comes off counterclockwise, then that's counterproductive to your health. But the issue at hand is, this is good for you and will flood your house, but who's getting hit by the positive ions that would be coming off the back end of it? The unhealthy ions. Well, if you've got a woods, or a basement where you can set this down in the basement to drive the positive ions into the floor or send it into the woods, the trees which are negatively charged will absorb it with no problem at all. But what if you live in an apartment building and there's people all around you, up above, below, around, or what if you work in an office complex in a cubicle in the middle of a facility and there is absolutely no place to dispose of the positive ions. You certainly don't want to send them into into people you're working with because it's just going to make them cranky and unhealthy. Well, I discovered a way of catching the positive ions and disposing them. Basically, it's just a simple sheet of aluminum foil because if you hold a coil like this a foot away from the aluminum foil and a foot away so that it will continue to generate that, not generate, that's the wrong word, continue to split the ions out of the EMF. If you hold it a foot away from the aluminum foil and then take a wire, this lead wire, and ground it to an outlet. If you have, everybody's got outlets available. Let me talk to you about outlets real quick. This is the, what an outlet looks like. It's got a big eye, a little eye, and a mouth. The little eye is the deadly one. That's where the power is. The big eye is a ground that absorbs the current from the little eye and makes this is where the, the current flows across. This is very da dangerous. This is kind of just not, not good for you. But this one here is the ground and this is the safe one. This is the mouth of the outlet. Now believe it or not, this wire and this wire will actually join together when they get down to the power box. So they, actually, they just have different runs coming up through the building. But you can take a small screwdriver, round screwdriver, or the smooth end of a drill bit and stick it in the mouth of this and then hook this to it. And when you ground that out, it will ground this out and it will absorb the positive ions that are coming off of your coil. But the rule of thumb with this is whatever distance you have this away from the aluminum foil, that has to be the width of the aluminum foil. 
if you're a foot up and the aluminum foil has to be a foot wide and a, and a foot high if you're two feet away from it then the catching surface has to be two feet by two feet it has to do with the spray pattern of these things that's how they're that's how they disperse now if you are want to uh, deal with EMF uh, in your body here's a real simple way that I do it this is just a 3x5 card folded in half smiley face on here and you take one of these clockwise position you see the coil is ending in a clockwise position you put it inside it and you staple it shut just like this and here you have a coil that's protected from being bent or damaged and what you can do with this is just slip it into your pocket with a smiley face facing you and what happens then is your body acts as the body is one of the best antennas there is and what it will what will happen is your body will absorb EMF but instead of it just staying bouncing around inside your body this coil will take the positive ions out of the EMF and throw them away from your body it will take the negative ions from the EMF and throw them into you so you can put these in your pockets and I've had days where I've just felt low on energy low on energy and just put a couple of these in my pocket and it's surprising how well it helps here's my hat you can see in there three of them sitting inside there facing in so the positive or the the negative ions are coming in and I'm throwing the the, the uh, positive ions away from me next thing you can take one of these coils like I have here and in order to beef up because this does not generate very much on its own this has starting to grow in output this grows a whole lot in output this is very very productive I mean even on its own it's very very productive um, but you can take one of these coils and in order to enhance it you put it in a card and then take a what I'm using here uh, is a uh, snack bag Ziploc snack bag take a uh, piece of I uh, always uh, steel wool stretch it out stretch, so it fits the whole thing because and this is the coarse steel wool it works better than the fine steel wool Spread, stretch it out and this is going to act as the absorbing material and then put your smiley face in there so you know which end is up and you can actually take this and set this around your house or around your your place of work or under your chair and the uh, steel wool will, will, will act as the EMF antenna absorbing it and the coil will then split it out and I recently I went over to somebody's house very large house and we took six of these and put them downstairs and in no time at all we took the house from a very strong positive no it was a medium positive ion charge in the house to a very very strong and negative ion in the house so this is almost a nice gift to give people especially if they're feeling under the weather just give this to them and tell them to put it into their pocket but these things are actually quite powerful all these units are this unit here I had uh, time to test it this last weekend and I tied it to a tree and I went about half just less than a half a mile away from it and could still detect the ions coming off of it a half mile away and that was all the space and time that I had available I do want to go out with one of the larger ones and see if I can get a uh, um, see if I can detect it from a mile away now the last thing I want to talk to you about here is oh, oh one one little detail here um, if you are putting coils next to each other in any arrangement whether it be on a belt or on a vest or in the organite unit make sure that you have two inches of separation separating them otherwise they will start to cancel each other out also make sure that these mouths the the opening of these is not facing toward the adjacent coil like that do not do that because it will actually start to reverse the whole ion flow through this make sure that they're turned up or away something like that would be safe and then give them two inches of clearance otherwise they will interfere with each other and the best way to change your ions this works out good in a house these work out really good in a house this can be clandestine you can hang this behind a picture and no one will know it's there you can go over to somebody you love and 
when they're not looking you can hang it behind there just make sure that it's uh, that the, the uh, clockwise is facing in but the one of the best ways to change the ion level in your body is to charge water and to drink the water this here is a what I call a power puck it's basically um, a resin the type of resin that you would pour over uh, wooden countertops to seal them in uh, you can get it at Home Depot and it's mixed with iron file iron shavings from a local uh, car repair store where they turn rotors they throw the stuff away and you can get buckets and buckets of it for free no charge at all and when I mix the stuff together I put in so much iron into the into the uh, the resin that it starts to get thick and pasty to where it's it will not even pour out you actually have to help it out of the the pot into the uh, into the molds and then it kind of kind of sets itself in uh, it's, the uh, it's very very productive that way the more iron you can get in there the more uh, the more EMF it's going to absorb and the more it's going to kick out but this particular unit here is what I use for charging water and you can take a gallon of water and set it on this unit and in five seconds you've got that that whole gallon charged with a negative ions of to full strength in five seconds so if you set your drinks on this it takes less than five seconds and it will be completely charged um, that particular gallon of water that we tested we tested it 24 hours later it still was holding just as strong of a charge it hadn't dissipated at all and I drank it because uh, I was doing some other testing um, to see what how it would affect the body and how it would affect my ion levels and that's that's a different story for a different day um, but it's very very powerful but it takes five seconds to do a whole gallon of water so a person can actually attach this to a water heater you can attach it to a water reservoir water storage but um, or even just use this as a coaster to set drinks on but anyhow some interesting tidbits and uh, have a good day thanks